Floyd, earlier in the week you mentioned that no fighter had made you pull your A game yet. Do you feel Maidana made you dig deep like that tonight? I only had to pull my A game. I just made adjustments. Um, he's a tough competitor, very, very rugged guy, very, very dirty guy. But um, it was a very exciting fight. What surprised you most about Maidana tonight? Um, nothing really surprised me. I knew he was a guy that likes to come straight ahead. I knew he was going to kind of make, a, make it a dirty fight. I thought the ref was going to say, you know, basically keep it clean because um, Tony Weeks has always been a fair guy, you know, but he's only human. He makes mistakes. Tony Weeks, he's a great guy, though. He's a great ref. But tonight he was letting a lot of things fly that I don't think he should have been letting fly. But I got to win the best way I know how. I made adjustments. Do you feel it was a close enough fight to warrant a rematch, in your opinion? I think I, 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 think I, dominated, I kind of dominated the fight. But he had times when I, when I laid on the ropes. He swung a lot of big shots and missed, but he hit, hit me a lot on the, on the sides and on the thigh. That comes with the territory. But um, um, I took my time. I done what I had to do, and I went out there and won tonight. Well, how far how hard was it not to get frustrated when you there? Um, I just kept my composure. You know, I've been here before. I know what it takes when it's a fighter of this magnitude. And um, I was a better man tonight. As far as the headbutt was concerned, was that something that you kind of came into this fight knowing that he might be wanting to do something like that? Actually, when I got hit with the headbutt, as you can see in that round, I couldn't see. I kept wipe, wiping my eye because I couldn't see. But I got the best cut man in the world, uh, Rafael Garcia. I couldn't choose one. I couldn't choose a better man to be in my corner. He stopped the blood, and I went out there and done what I had to do. Amir Khan seemed very confident. Um, as of right now, my focus is to go home, rest, I spend a lot of time with my family. I had a very, very long career. And, you know, um, with having a very, very long career and being very, very busy, you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family, you know. And uh, I think what's important right now is my two daughters and my, and my two sons because every day I want to become a better person. You know, like I said before, on um, All Access, there's some things that I did in the past you know, not nothing, nothing that anyone else, anyone else hasn't done, but I just want to become a better person. You are going to fight on, though, after this fight? You are going to keep on fighting? I don't know. And how important was I don't know. As of right now, I just want to go home and sit down and um, see what I come up with. I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm fighting again or not. But as of right now, I need some rest. It's about rest. Talk to me about that ring entrance. I've never seen anything like that. Um, I just want to get a fan some excitement. You know, I want to... I, um, it's about giving the people something different, giving the people something they never saw before. A circus, uh, Justin Bieber, Lil Wayne, all, you know, huge celebrities, a, a, a huge A-list, people coming out showing support, which is a great thing. And um, tonight, what I did, I went out there and made adjustments. Comparing him to Castillo, they think that they brought the pressure like no other before, but comparing him to Castillo, what's the difference pressure-wise? Um, he just, he's, just, he's just a little bit more rugged. He is a real, real rugged guy. Do whatever it takes to try to win, which is he don't care where he hits you at. And as you, as you guys know, go back and look at all access. They was like, whatever we got to do to win, we're going to do. We're going to hit him on the thigh, hit him on the back, hit him on the legs. And that's what he did the whole fight. And also, when he was swinging shots to the head, he was holding me with his left hand or his right hand and swinging with the other hand. Things like that happens in the sport of boxing. Did Tony Weeks have any reaction to what you had told him about the dirty fighting and whatnot? What was his reaction? To I kept telling him, I'm like, yo, he, he's hitting me low, a low blow. It's a thigh shot. I said, I know you see these shots. Everybody in the arena see these shots, but you're the only guy that don't see the shots. But, you know, like I said before, I like Tony Weeks. And um, just because um, in this fight, he didn't see a lot of, he didn't, he, didn't get a, he didn't get to catch a lot of mistakes, doesn't mean that I don't respect him. Or, uh, he's a guy that I don't like. You know, things, is ha things happen in life. When that stuff happens in the ring, Floyd, does your blood kind of boil a little bit? Does that give you a little bit no, more, I'm, I guess, um, No, I'm just like, yo, I know if everyone else can see this, I know you can see this. I like the guy coming in with his head. But, um, like I said before, it's boxing. It's, it's, like a, it's not a gentleman's sport, so it is what it is. I don't know if dirty is the right word, but is that one of the most fierce kind of, you know, you know with the stuff that happened? Is that one of the most well, like I said before, I told everybody, in the beginning of this week, I wasn't going to do a lot of moving. I was going to do a little bit. I said I was going to do a lot of fighting. And I said, uh, it's not going to really be hard to find me. And that's what I did. 
toughest fight of your career? Absolutely not. Emmanuel Augustus is a tougher fighter. Um, was a better fighter. And uh, he just didn't have the chance. He just, he just, no, no, one, no one ever gave, gave him a chance. Um, as far as um, Cotto, he's a, Cotto's a, a better boxer. Um, hit a lot harder. Even when um, Canelo hit me with a, a shot, Canelo hits harder than he do, but he's a strong guy. He got a, you know, he, he packed a cool punch, but it's nothing that I never felt before. And um, we did what we had to do tonight. Last you feel like from about the fourth round on, fourth or fifth round on, that you won every round from there? I can't really say. I was just being, you know, I was just boxing, being me, taking my time. You know, uh, going to the body, uh, uh, doing what I got to do to win. Um, well, well, I can really, I can really just stay off the ropes totally and just box and just move. And when he get close to me, just tie him up. I could have done that all night. Did, did you feel it was important to finish strong? Because I noticed later in the rounds you really got more offensive with him. You tried to hurt him to the body. Like, was it important for you to finish strong? In the well, I know in the last round he was gonna come out very, very strong and real, real wild. It's obvious he came out in the 12th round trying to kill me because he knew that he was down on the scorecards. That's why he came out like that. But my dad gave me some good advice. He said, don't be stupid, be smart, because you're a very, very smart fighter. You didn't get this, you didn't get this far um, overnight. You got, this, you got this far by being very, very smart. So move, tie him up, do what you got to do, because we already got this in the bag. Lastly, you knew the body work was slowing him down. You can tell he didn't like any of the jabs to the body, any of the left and right hands to the body. Um, well, like I said before, um, I've been here before, and, and experience plays the major key. Okay, and I told you, what I did was I kept going to the body, kept going to the body, and um, break, breaking the guy down, and then he started protecting his body a lot. And he kind of shocked me. He, had, he, he kind of had, he had a good jab. Shocking. He had a good jab. But like I said before, if we do fight again, or if I do fight again, it won't be the same fight. It, it, it'll be totally different. When the first score came out, 114, 114. Floyd. You looked a little, I mean, you look panicked. I'm sure you wore it, but kind of talk about your reaction after that. No, because like I said before, people are used to seeing me go out there and just blow people out, 12-0. Yeah. And But then finally when a guy can win, a, you know, let's say out of, out of 12 rounds he can win four, they're like, oh, man, what's going on with Floyd? we never seen this before. If a guy win three or four rounds, they say, oh, a lot of people are like, oh, he won the fight. But, you know, in the arena, it was a lot of his fans, a lot of fans from Argentina cheering him on, which is a good thing. But he know as well as I know that he lost. Because if he didn't thought, if he didn't think he lost, then he wouldn't came, he wouldn't have came out in the twelfth round like he did. Are you personally happy by the way you fought tonight? Um, I'm always happy with, I'm always happy when I can win when my hand is raised. But the thing is, I'm happy with because I gave it 100 percent. That's more important. Like I teach my kids, winning is not always having your hand raised. Winning is giving, winning is giving 100 percent, and that's what I did. Thank you, Claude. Appreciate it. Um, in the 90s. <laughs> Just in time. Yeah, I know.